An update to the steamboat geyser that continues to keep erupting in Yellowstone. I put out a video here recently talking about some concern about the unpredictability of this area. And it is a super volcano, of course. There are eyes on it. No one wants to see this thing erupt in our lifetime to have to deal with such an event. But it is there, it is active, and there's been a lot of discussion on how to deal with this in terms of trying to get man in here to do something like NASA's idea of drilling a hole into this thing and trying to pour water into it to cool it down. Others say that that would generate more steam and could ignite an explosion. Regardless, this thing is highly volatile. It is constantly in motion, and as of right now, the steamboat geyser has erupted again. Now, at this point, it's going off every six to eight days. And before, this thing was completely dormant uh, up to around 2014, or ever since 2014, they say. So, since 2014, there wasn't hardly any activity. Now, all of a sudden, this thing's springing to life. And this is right around the same time that we have witnessed a lot of volcanic activity around the globe in terms of what just happened in Guatemala. Massive eruptions. You're taking people's lives down there and covering large areas with massive amounts of ash. And then we have the situation that is ongoing in Hawaii. As you can see here, this is a look at the volcanic dome, the caldera in Hawaii. Here, just within the past five hours, they've witnessed another 5.3 earthquake at the top of that volcano. Now, this is something you don't ever want to see around the top of Yellowstone. And fortunately, we don't see that kind of swarming activity around Yellowstone. We have seen some swarming. But as of right now, I just want to keep track of all these geyser eruptions, seeming that they're stating that they're pretty abnormal, how this whole thing kind of popped up out of nowhere. They're saying it's unpredictable, even though it's giving off a kind of predictable scale right now from between six to eight days. Most of these eruptions have happened at night where people cannot get in here and film it or see what's going on and get any other information. But there is a clip here from June 4th where individuals did catch this during the day. If you want to see exactly what this venting process looks like there in Yellowstone. But this is the latest in terms of eruptions. Wanted to keep track of it. If we see number 10, I'll let y'all know. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. I'll leave links below. This has been Dabu7. Much love.